Behold, Baron's Brigade, welcome back to Ancient Warfare 2, where people get dismembered, including Santa Claus, while he's holding a bag of sticks. You know, there's another word for a bag of sticks, right? Or a pile of sticks. Let us get... Ooh, where is it? Where is it? Where... Well, level bundles. Do we have pirate ships? What do you mean I don't have any... What, what is it? I guess I can download more. So it's been a while since we played Ancient Warfare 2, right? We've been waiting for this update. Ladies and gentlemen, ships. Battleships. We've got ships with cannons. Now, they're all crewed down here. So here we go. We've got four different classes of ships. And holy crap, this music is loud and glorious and it's getting me ready for battle. We've got first and foremost, well, maybe not foremost, we've got a viking ship led by a pirate with one eye. And then we've got this large ship. It's got seven cannons per side. You can see it's twin masted with about four sections of sail. And we've got another one-eyed pirate leading it. So where are the rear facing cannons, right? And then we've got this one. This one is a triple masted ship and this one has seven so from four sail sections to seven and then finally also armed what three four five six seven eight nine ten this one has ten cannons on each side so seven cannons tw or 14 cannons 20 cannons and this one looks like another 14 cannon ship however it's got this elevated you know section on the front which would be ideal for putting men with ranged weaponry right also led by a one-eyed pirate. So now, guys, I want your suggestions on custom battles. Now, we've got to be realistic about it, right? So here are the ships. Look at this. We've got um, the Viking ship. This one. Oh, there we go. It does say 20 cannons. And a platform for units. Oh, yeah. So we've got four different classes of ships. We could do Vikings versus pirates. I actually don't know how that would work. Are there boarding actions? If if the developers of this game can make this game to where there's boarding actions and you can have Roman triremes and corvuses and just like all kinds of all manner. Oh man, how do we delete that? Do 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 just like that. All right. Well, I'm going to build a battle and I'll get back to you guys in a moment. This is so epic. All right, guys, check this out. The naval battle is about to begin. We've stockpiled these ships full of infantry. And the cool thing about it is, look at this Viking longship. It's got a Hawacha. And this one, this one has a catapult. I'm not even sure if this is going to work. We've got them loaded with musket men, archers. There's warriors in case there's boarding actions. This should be pretty epic, right? So let's see. I wonder if you can eventually do a naval, like a port assault, ships versus a fortress, right? That would be pretty cool. So it looks like Red's got 99 people. Now, if we just hit play, please wait a few seconds while the battle gets prepared. All right, let's let's launch this. Okay, frames are actually like at 50. Oh shit! The Hawacha stayed in place and actually fired and killed some of the people on it. So now we know the Hawacha doesn't work. The catapults do work. Look at that. The catapult just hit the enemy ship. People are turning to exchange broadsides. There's muskets going off. That one Viking ship just sank. This one's charging. Oh my god, these ships are going to fire like... Are, are they stopping each other? Oh god, the cannonballs. Oh, the catapult just launched. This one's going down. Okay, so it, it, there's a few little bugs about it, but you know what? This is pretty awesome. Oh my god, that guy just got wrecked. The watch is firing and just hit the enemy ship. What is that? A cannonball just went straight up in the air. Look at this guy slumped over. They're having a bad time. So I think only ranged units work on the ships right now. Like, I, I think these ships will eventually sink. So we're going to see some ships of the line going at it right now. Look at this epic naval engagement with the random catapults on there. This is kind of funny. Oh, this one's sinking! It's going down, and look at the bodies drowning. There's actually sharks in the water. If they go after the people... All right, we've got three ships sinking. There's only three pirate ships left. This one's moving into position to exchange shots with the broadside. Oh, the little seven cannon ship is going down for the red. 
This one looks like it might be taking on a bit of water. Oh, do you see that crossbow flying around? The no, watch just randomly firing. It's like, I, I, I don't know. Let's see if we can't see what it's like. Oh, look at that. The cannons, babies. Can we get below decks? Oh, the enemy ship is sinking. Blue's victorious. All hands on deck. We are going down. I repeat, the HMS Indomitable. Oh, the captain just got struck by an arrow too. That's perfect. I don't think the Hwacha, oh, the Hwacha did kill this guy. You know, like, I always wondered, like, imagine a war and the last guy to die right before, like, there's peace. You know, I would hate to be that guy. We just saw him. It was this guy right here, the last one to die. Oh, the watch is going again. Incoming! Man, that thing has some range. So catapults and hawatches aren't good. Wow. Oh, this guy lived a blessed life. Okay, well. Guys, check this out. We've got red long Viking longships. They've got muskets on the front and flame arrows. I want to see how flame arrows affect ships against 420 cannon ships. Now, I don't know if I got the distance right because these blue ships might turn to go at the red ships and then turn back. We know the distance, we got it wrong. Yeah, they are in fact doing that, okay. All these red ships are coming in. Oh, they're firing like, oh man, there's actually a lot of friendly fire on those ships. The fire arrows have missed. I wanna see some, I wanna see these ships start catching on fire. Oh my God, that was massive. All right, so they're actually ramming. Are they going for ramming? Oh no, these kind of, the AI just has them like. <laughs> All right, well, this isn't exactly, you know, beautiful in terms of the mechanics, but it is beautiful in terms of what's happening. And these Viking ships are just getting slaughtered. All those ships, there's not one guy alive on them. So Viking ships versus pirate ships it doesn't look like fire arrows really do a whole lot of damage look at that there's just not too many people left alive there's some people who actually got knocked over maybe those are dead bodies and they're drowning i'm not entirely sure but if pirate ships could catch fire that would be epic ancient warfare 2 now with naval battles look at this captain i've been fighting for eight years and my quartermaster just took an arrow oh god there goes me other eye all right guys so what we did was we've got four seven cannon ships so that's about 28 cannons on one side versus three 10 cannon ships well three 10 cannon per side so that's about 30 right so i felt like this was kind of you know, I thought this was kind of fair, and I've got this, I've got, let's see, I think it's, let's see, that's 7 times 4 is 28. Yeah, we've got 28 men on these ships, and 30 men spread across these ships, so let's see how this one does. This should be, and I hope that they're able to fire right from the beginning. Frames did drop, no, they did not. I wonder how close they have to be. Either way, we get to see the maneuver, and look at that, yeah. They just had to move like an inch or two, so we were off by just a bit. Now they're going to exchange salvos. Oh, there's people getting knocked out already. I love it, dude. Look at... Doo -doo 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 Epic ships of the line! Dude, don't kill the captains. Once the captains are dead. I actually... If the captain dies, is that when it starts sinking? That might be the case. Or when the ship dies, the captain dies as well. One blue ship is already sinking. All right. He just died and it's still floating. Okay, so that theory. All right, that red, none of the red ships are actually sinking, but all the blue ones are. Maybe they have the same amount of health? Come on, guys. Do we have anyone still down here? Oh no, we're taking on water. Everybody just started boom, 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 drowning. But the ship can't sink. We need ironclads. Oh my gosh. This is pretty cool. Okay, red guys won. I'm going to retry that. And then I'm, I want to take a special note. Optimizing. Be prepared. The battle will start soon. Lord, shiver me timbers. All right. So, oh, that guy, the first, was he the first one to die? There's a couple guys dead. Let's see. Oh, yeah. People are getting wrecked. Let's see how these guys do. Boo, 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 boo. 
Ooh, they sniped one guy through the window. These guys have not been touched yet, these two musketeers. Oh, exchanging salvos. I would like to see one of the red ships sink. I'm kind of surprised that it, it, it isn't. That blue one's going down. That's the first one that usually goes down. I wonder if the battles would be the same. See, that's the nice thing about tabs, is the battles, it's always a different thing, right? Because it's like physics-based combat. But tabs doesn't have ships. This has ships. Look at these glorious ships. This ship is going down. We've only got a few crew members left. Get one last shot off, Jim. Oh, he got shot, and he's dead. Now the captain's like, I'll go down with me ship. Please don't shoot me. I'd rather drown and get eaten by the ship. <coughs> he got musket ball to the neck. Hmm. How do we change this up a bit? Is there a way to select the ships and move them? That would be very convenient. Oh my god, I think I can. But how do I do this? <gasps> oh shit, look at that. I can move the entire ship. Ooh, we just gotta put them so the guys aren't gonna die. Oh, what it? Do you see that guy? He's dark blue. What just happened? All right, let's try this. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we definitely want to try it out. Okay, another naval engagement. Now, what we're looking for is an immediate salvo right from the beginning. The 20 cannon ships. No, they, they still do that thing. They're in, maybe they're not in range. We'll, we'll adjust the red ships next. Let's do custom battle editor. Oh, wow, that guy's falling off the ship. So, still kind of wonky, right? But, you know, that is kind of the case with a lot of games that we play here, let's be honest. All right, well. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, uh, seems good. Do this. I want to get them to fire right from the beginning. That is our goal. Because that would be awesome. Really, just to see it. So let's move these guys. I think those guys might fall into that hole. What's the hole called? Like, in a ship. Like, what's that? A porthole? A porthole. I don't know. I don't think we really had ports back then. I mean, portholes. I think that's like an Age of Steam type reference. I don't really know. You guys better do what you need to do. We could always put them like really, really close. I don't even think they move that much at all. Either way, this is pretty close to an immediate salvo. None of the blue guys have died yet. One of the red guys just died and fell overboard. Come on, fire the cannons. Fire the cannons. Duh. Oh, the pirate ships. Yeah, this middle one gets concentrated on by like two ships, so it's like 14 cannons. He always dies immediately. Wow, that one sank really early too. So I think the ships might have like, I don't know. I don't know why blue gets wrecked so much. Anyway, guys, this is Ancient Warfare 2. We've got ships, and I'll show you the ships again. Let's go to custom battle editor. We've got four different classes of ships. One 20 cannon ship, two 14 cannon ships, which I will show you. Yep, we got a Viking ship, which is that cute little one. This one, this is the big guy, the 20 cannon ship, and then this is the seven cannon ship, but with like, it's got, if you see here, it's got this little ramp you can put guys on, which is kind of cool. Now, are there other units? There's camels. Can you put a camel on a ship? I, if, I, it doesn't look like it. I really wish we could. We have never messed with the camels. Armored guys. We've got all kinds of units, guys. Like, look at all this. Pretty much your imagination. Oh, wait a minute. We gotta see if we can't put a cannon on this. If we can put a howit or a, one of these mortars. Oh, shit. Yes. All right, so what we did was we put two mortars on all of these Viking longships. I really want to see how this plays because it could be really freaking sweet. It could be derpy. I don't know, but it's definitely worth. Oh, they stay in place. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. If they did stay on the ship, that's like the next thing I think would be epic. Man, 
This game would be so cool. So actually, what happens? Why aren't the mortars firing? Maybe it's because, you know, all their... Oh, they are firing. Incoming! I still want to do, like... Dude, imagine, like, ships trying to attack, like, a port. But, like, there's cannons and mortars. Ooh, this one got wrecked and immediately sank. That one got hit. It looks like Red is winning 4-2 to two right now. But it's a pretty silly battle. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hope you did enjoy Kingdoms and Castles earlier today. Have a great Friday. It's the weekend now, guys. What are you all doing? What games are you all playing? Have a great one. I'll see you in the next video.